Researchers delving deep inside the human mind may have found a switch that can literally turn off consciousness. It's the first time that scientists have been able to flick consciousness off and on by stimulating a single area of the brain. Dr. Mohamed Kubesi is the lead author of the study and associate professor of neurology at the George Washington School of Medicine and Health Sciences, and he joins us from Washington, D.C. Welcome to Arise America, Dr. Kubesi. Thank you, Debbie. Um, you know, I think that science is probably struggling with this, but in a simple way that we all can understand. First of all, can you just describe what consciousness is and why it might be important for uh, researchers, scientists, to know where it is in the brain? Uh, conscious awareness uh, refers to uh, the ability of human beings to basically be what they are, uh, uh, to respond, to recall, to process uh, all the sensory input uh, and perceive the moment as it is, as a single uh, uh, experience. Uh, so, uh, for example, when we see uh, a color and we hear a sound and we associate them as a single experience, that that's one of the uh, functions of, of, of conscious awareness. Uh, we know that consciousness is processed in the brain by very widely distributed networks uh, in the cortex, which is the outer layer of the brain, as well as in the brain stem. Uh, but we have not so far identified a single region whose electrical stimulation or interruption uh, can uh, uh, interfere with the uh, consciousness uh, processing throughout the brain. And, and, and this, this uh, finding is the first of its kind to identify a region whose apparently uh, uh, robust connectiveness uh, uh, or, uh, or connectivity with the uh, uh, distributed uh, consciousness networks has led to its being a, a control switch. Uh, the, the importance is crucial as regards the potential therapeutic implications uh, oh. because there, is, there are many disorders that involve alteration of consciousness, including epilepsy and obviously coma. Yeah, well, you've taken the next question right out, of my, right out of my mouth. Of course, you discovered this region when you were looking for the uh, origin of uh, seizures from a, for an epileptic patient and, a patient and then found when you stimulated this particular region, I'm going to let you say the name and I'm not going to try to say it, when you stimulated it, then she stopped responding to all stimuli, and then you could uh, stop stimulating, and she would come back to consciousness. So, if this is the spot where the switch for consciousness lies, then what are the implications here? Does this mean that people in comas, if you stimulate this part of the brain, that you could wake them up? Uh, this is a possibility. We hope this is true, and we hope it will be tried, uh, especially in individuals who have chronic, uh, persistent vegetative states and, and, and comas. Uh, what you need to do in such individuals is to lead or override or activate the whole network. Think of it as a, you know, intricate electrical network uh, that is difficult to activate at different sites. But if you identify a spot that is well connected to every single area of this network and you can trigger uh, an electrical stimulation there, you may be able to uh, uh, push life into it again. Uh, so comatose patients uh, may hopefully benefit from electrical stimulation of that region. Tell me a little bit about this region of the brain and do say that name. Well, it's called the claustrum. There. Uh, the, the electrode where we put it, where we put, uh, where we, that we stimulated and induced the disruption of consciousness was very close to the, uh, to the claustrum. The claustrum is a brain region that has been known to scientists for hundreds of years, but uh, uh, there is no known role for it. Uh, there, have, there have been hypotheses suggesting that the role of the claustrum may be uh, uh, in, in binding sensory experience together. Uh, uh, and in processing consciousness. And these hypotheses were actually made based on uh, the fact that the, uh, uh, anatomically the claustrum is very well connected with every single area of the brain, including the areas that process emotions and memory and vision and hearing and, and everything else. Dr. Kubesi, so, let uh, me jump in there because I want to get to this before we run out of time and we're about to do that. So what's the next step? Where do you go with this uh, bit of discovery? 
We're doing two, two things. Uh, at the clinical level, uh, this discovery will uh, ho hopefully uh, inform a lot of our uh, clinical interventions and clinical research. Uh, if we happen to have electrodes in the same spot, we will do detailed testing in order to further characterize the function of this area and assess the potential therapeutic implications. In animals, uh, I, have a, I have an animal lab at, uh, at GW, and we are implanting electrodes in that region stimulating them electrically and testing whether uh, the electrical stimulation can have therapeutic effects uh, on epilepsy and sounds, on the progression of seizures. Sounds extraordinarily exciting. You do keep us posted on this. Congratulations on this discovery. Dr. Mohamed Kubasi, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.